Hello media giants. Today I'm going to try a new HDTV antenna, a Mohu Beam amplified HDTV antenna, 4K capable and all that. I'm going to try it on my new TV. I've been using an outside antenna. Right now I'm getting 31 channels with the antenna outside. I'll show you what that looks like. That's my outdoor antenna. You see it's broken. It fell down a couple times in the wind. Big wind storms we had. I've had this for about five years and sometimes I get 40 channels. Right now I got 31. And I'm gonna unbox this right now and see what I get with this. I don't expect much. I really want it to work, but I've been fooled by so many great antennas. They showed this one on the demonstration on television being right in front of the TV like a sound bar. So I'm gonna try it that way. And I'm gonna unbox it, hook it up, and see how smart my TV is to recognize it. And then scan. All right, let's unbox it. Mohu Beam. They have different brands of this, different models. Let's see. See, so he's supposed to be real flat, sleek, elegant, modern design. Okay, look. See how thin? So we have 10 feet of coaxial cable. This must be a stand. Must be two of those, I'd say. Let's see. <laughs> well, I only see one of those. But I'm assuming it's a stand. See? One. Or you can hang it on the wall. This looks like it should have two, doesn't it? Well, this is power block. All right, USB. This is the amplifier. Boom! There we go. So you plug this into the wall. Plug this. All right, this goes between the coax and the TV. It's an amplifier. And they plug this USB end into the wall for power. All right, so far. I really want it to work. I've been so disappointed by so many antennas on television lately. And that crappy one outside, I paid about $20 for it a few years ago. And it still works, and I watch it every day. Along with everything else, I got Dish Network and all that. And I run that antenna through my Dish Network app. I'm gonna do this right through the television to see how smart it is. Oh, I got a little pipe. Oh no, that's a curve. If this wire doesn't fit right into your TV. Mm, all right. It only shows one stand. Kickstand. <laughs> Safety bracket. You can mount it on the wall. You can also put it outside. But as I saw on the demonstration on television, they have it right in front of the TV, like a sound bar. And I'm going to try that. Alright, let's plug it in, hook it up, and scan. We're going to get some free channels. Okay? Come here. First step. We take our one end of cable and screw it into there. So you can get your fingers in there. I do believe this curved elbow adapter is going to work better because I'm screwing that in and it's just not going. And also that's going to stick out the bottom then and be a lump when you try to stand it up. So I'm going to do this. That's not in the instructions. They don't even show this part in the instructions. Maybe that's something they learned after a few complaints. All right, that one is good, that's tight. Then, you take the other end of the cable, screw it into there. And that swivels a little, that's good. See? Tight. Tight with a swivel. 
Let's go over to the TV. Put the little kickstand on. What that. Now the other end of the coax, well we're going to put this where they recommend, in front of the television. <laughs> the other end of the black wire goes into the amplifier here. Screw that in. That's the amplifier. Then I'm going to plug this into the wall behind the television. I'm going to screw this into my input on the TV. Okay, that's screwed in snugly. Have it in front of the TV. Just to start with, see how it's gonna go. I wouldn't keep it there. I might put it down below if it works at all, but like I said, I don't expect it to work. But this is how they showed it in the demonstration on TV. Now, let's get my smart remote. See how smart my television is? I wanna go to inputs. Okay, remember I have 31 channels here. Press home. Remember this is my new Samsung 75 inch QLED television. Let's see what we got here. Source. Alright. I don't see no antennae. Connection guide, let's try that. Mm. Accessory? No. Alright. Where's the antennae? Huh. Hmm. Alright. I thought you were smart. TV? What's this? Set up? Hmm. Hang on a minute. Settings. Let's see what's up here. Connected network. Oh, that's the internet. Settings, source, it should show it up there. Because when I plug something in, like my Blu ray player there, you see, it shows up. Connection guide, I did that already. Cable box, displayer. Hmm. Alright, let's do this. Let's go to TV. Let's go to set up TV. All right, see what happens with that. I'm a little disappointed. Oh no, now they want to put my zip code and all that. I did this in the beginning. It's like I'm signing up all over again. I don't want to do this. But I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> I'll be back. Hang on. All right, it's back. Now let's see. Source. Come on, what are you doing here, man? What do I get to get that to work? Settings. See broadcasting. This should be lit up. Why? Why is it not available? Come on. Looks like they don't want you to use a free antenna, doesn't it, so far? But I can hook it into my dish box like I have the other antenna, but I wanted to get rid of dish. You know that. What else we got here? TV Plus, Internet. See a lot of things going on here, but Internet, I don't want that. Smart things. How smart are you? Nope. Nope, that's for turning your lights on and stuff. Let's go to settings over here. No cameras. Alright, well. Holy cow. It should be in source. Should be there. I turned it off and turned it back on too, and it didn't come up. Source setup. Oh, see, it don't even have that. It don't even give me that. No fun. Let me turn off the dish and see what happens. Dish is off.
source. Oop. Let me unplug it and plug it back in, see if it wakes it up. How's that sound to you? I'm gonna go around the back, unplug the power to that amplifier, plug it back in, unplugged, replugged. Anything? No antenna? Oh, I'm disappointed. This is crazy. This is crazy, this is crazy, this is crazy. <laughs> I knew I'd be disappointed, but not this quick. It's plugged in, it says antenna in. This goes in the wall, there's no on and off switch or nothing. Let's plug it into USB, you got USB up here. Try that. That can't work. This ain't no fun. Source. Ah. Why you do this to me? Why? Plug it. Plug it back in the power block. Plug it back in the wall. It's connected to my TV in the right spot. I see it right here. So disappointing. Oh, up the cable. Plug it back in again. Nope. No. Oh. Anybody else get one of these? Maybe my TV's too smart. It doesn't want me to get free TV, that's for sure. Definitely doesn't. Let's look at the instructions again. I did the setup again and it says and it showed antenna connected watch. See? See on, on the left there it says antenna. Oh, but it's not lit up. But it says connected. You see it? On the left? All right, so next. TV connected to the internet, all right. What else we got here? Well, you have to agree. One, HDMI two. Where's the antenna? Boy, this is an awful lot of work. I had a 10 year old TV where I just screwed the antenna in and it worked. Oh, what do you think of that? Or a 30 year old TV. Plug it in and it works. We're identifying something here. Part of my dish network. Find the antenna. Unknown dish. I want to get rid of dish and I want to use the antenna. That's the idea here, remember? Oh, oh here we go. Oh, come on now. Go back. I bet this did this all over again for me. I don't want to do this. I want to go back. Uh, yeah, start watching TV. Oh, source. Still isn't there. Oh, come on, look at this. Everything but the antenna. Mm. How many times do I have to do this? And I'm missing my favorite show through all this. Leave it to Beaver. Don't, don't make me do this again. Look, TV. Set up TV. If I do this again, it's going to make me put my zip code and everything. Let me see. I just want... Come on. See, I don't want to do this. Somehow I found it on here. Like, set up TV brand new again. And it's scanning. See? 22%. No channels. 23. Look, see? Well, after all this... And I figured I'd be disappointed. I'm disappointed. So far. I spent an hour on this. I emailed Mohu in all this time. And they answered me within a good time. That's good. They said you got to scan for channels. I know that. But I didn't get to this area here. It didn't recognize it. Alright, 41%. No channels yet. Oh boy. After all this. And I see I got zero channels. I'm going to hook it up to the box that I hook into my Dish Network box because that's how my outside antenna is currently connected but I wanted to get rid of Dish Network remember all right back a couple minutes I need some coffee Whew. okay scanning is complete and I have zero channels which I expected down the bottom it says TV plus 39 channels that's just an app that comes with the TV itself we see we have none over the air I might move this outside on my deck see if I get a better reception oh boy I knew I'd be disappointed but not not this much I didn't think I'd be working over an hour on it all right I'll be back 
Next. Antenna. It says 39 channels. Let's see what we got. Start watching TV. All right. Let's see if we that just... Is the place to be today, Come on, what is right? this? Weather we Nation? We got the spring training happening in the Cactus League. And what else we got? Oh, look. These are weird channels. These aren't the antenna. These are an app on the television. TV Plus. You see it on top? Oh, as we look at our That's not my local antennas, which I wanted. Here. All right, let me go back to sources. Fully evacuated. Source. The see, the antenna is still not there. Oh, and Dish Network isn't there either no more. Look, <laughs> come on. Oh! I'm going to start all over and get Dish Network back. Oh, well, I wish I would have never got this so far. The two needed to find see, the no Dish Network. Refuge. And after much discussion and debate, Arthur concedes Psh, and let E secure their next home. Psh. Oh, no, here it is. Oh, unknown. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna set up my unknown dish network box again. Here we go. Oh All right, I get to this again. I'm gonna scan just for air. I'm gonna come up with those wacky channels again, probably. Not my local channels, which I'm trying to do. So show me I got nine channels. Alright, let's see. Remember I started with 31 channels? No way I got 50 channels. I'd like it, but oh, TV Plus, see? TV Plus. Alright. Close. TV Plus. What do we got now? Where are my channels? Oh, it's TV Plus here, see? It's just these wacky channels that nobody wants to watch. Dust Anthology. Yeah, I want to watch that. Cheddar Opening Bell. No weather. Okay, let's go back. All right, now let's look at our sources. Source. No antenna. Okay. I'm gonna unplug the antenna from the back of the television and plug it into this hookup that I have for my Dish Network. And that's my last chance before I put it in the box and send it back. Let me show you what this looks like. I have this little hook up here that comes with the you can get it for a dish network box see this see that um, that white cable is what goes to the antenna outside on the pole and I'm gonna plug this new antenna into there scan it one more time and give up okay and heat it night right back the TV was a little wonky although it's the best TV you can buy at this point most advanced but it didn't want me to have free channels that's for sure <laughs> let's go to the menu go to settings on your dish box down here it says OTA channels over the air Enter that. Remember, I had 31 in the guide, see? I'm going to scan again, watch. On the left, rescan. 31 channels, remember. I'll try it in front of the TV like it is now, see? And then I'll try it outside. Will be the ultimate test. Boy, I'm so disappointed. So far, I want to get rid of the dish. Remember, I have to find a better antenna. Well, the antenna I have outside is how much was it? 20, 30, 40. I forget how much it was cheap, and it blew down in the storm and everything. It still works pretty good. Zero so far. Be back. Even if it was weak, I would get two or three. See, zero. <laughs> Continue. And I know what I'm doing with this stuff. I've been watching antenna television and working with this stuff since the 60s. Okay. So I know what I'm doing. Now what? Now watch me lose my 31 channels. <laughs> this never happened before. I bet I lost everything. That's all right. I'll rescan my old antenna and I'll get it back. I'm going to try one more test with this new Mohu. I'm going to put it outside and I'm going to scan it again. Ain't worth it. Last chance for the Mohu. I'm putting it outside. I'm going to scan it again. 
See? I'm gonna put it outside on my patio. Outside! Outside, pointing towards the sky on my table. Last chance. Last chance! This is my last chance. Menu. Settings. Over there, locals. Oh, look. Okay, been detected. Oh, thank you. Five channels. Scan. It looks like my original 31 channels went away, but I'll get them back with my cheap antenna outside. This is still the Mohu. Zero so far. We'll be back. Still zero channels. I'd like to remind you that I bought this from HSN, and thank you once again for deceiving me, HSN. They showed it right in the front of the television, right there, like a sound bar. Beautiful, classy. All the channels that are in your area, wrong. Do you know I got two of these? Why? I have no idea. But you know how many I'm sending back? I'm sending back three of them. <laughs> no, I'm sending them back. And I'm going to show you. I'll show you again my old antenna outside. And I'm going to plug that in. I'm going to scan it. And I'm going to get my channels back. I might get more than 31 today since it's clear out. So deceiving. Zero found. Okay. Continue. There. See, we're goofed up now. Okay, never mind. Come outside. I'm going to remind you one more time. That's the old broken down antenna that I'm going to plug back in and scan to show you nothing's wrong with the TV or the box or wires or my brain. We're going to get our channels back without the mohu. Junk. Junk, I tell you. Get rid of this stupid mohu. Plug in my original old broke down antenna outside and scan again. Get my 31 or more channels back. Okay, let's screw it in. Put that back there. Get rid of this piece of crap. And go back to the post office. Get out of here. Disappointment. Crap. Wasting my time. Wasting half of my morning. All right, let's go back to menu here. Settings. Over the air channels. Find channels. Scan. There we go. Old broke down antenna outside. How do you compare to a new, modern, sleek, beautiful Mohu beam? Oh, better get my channels back. Well, there's 10 channels. A little better than the Mohu. <laughs> Mohu beam. 15. See? Got 34 channels. Remember, I started with 31. Nice. 38. Five year old broke down antenna or the brand new Mohu from HSN. Thank you. Why do I keep buying stuff from them? They make it look so good on TV. All right, 38. Great. Let's see what we got. Nice, see? Now, the ones on the left are not in the guide. I'm going to put these all in the guide, except the Spanish ones because I don't understand that language. You don't mind, do you? And now, press save. And when I go to my guide, everything in yellow is the antenna, remember? All right, everybody. Can I give it one more chance in the bedroom? Can I do that? Let's go to my input on this remote. This is a Sharp Aquos 70 inch. Okay, I'm gonna try broadcasting setup, channel setup, oh, antenna setup, channel setup, air, air, channel search. Here we go, start. What are we gonna get here? Sit back and relax. It's scanning. Well, this says it found 19 channels. How did that happen? Let's see what happens here. 
still scanning though. Well, it said it found 19 channels and it stopped. Let's see where they are now. What were they, imaginary channels? Oh, there's number 19. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I tried, I really tried here, let's see. Well, I'm entering numbers that should be in here and they're not working, even though it said there was, what, 19 channels? I really tried, I want it to work. All right, well, that's the second TV I tried it on. Thanks a lot. I don't recommend this Mohu Beam TV antenna. And thanks for watching my review. We're gonna have other things better than this soon. I'll put a link down there to better antennas like the one I got outside. They're worth it when you can get a good one and get your channels, you know, get free channels. There's a lot of good free channels out there. So disappointed today. Thanks again and please subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Have a nice day.